Now the question is two numbers x and y are chosen at random from the set 1 2 3 up to 3n find the probability that x square minus y square is divisible by 3. Now what we'll do is we'll partition the set in three parts according to the remainder when the numbers are divided by 3. So we'll have this first set say s1 in which we have numbers which are multiples of 3 and which will leave the remainder 0 when divided by 3 and number of numbers in this set is n. Now we have the second set which leaves the remainder 1. I will have 4, 7, 10 and again I will have n such numbers and this third set which is 5, 8, 11 leaving the remainder 2 when divided by 3 and again we have n such numbers. So what we have done is we have partitioned this set in 3 sets. Now we need to find the probability that x square minus y square is divisible by 3. Now we can write x square minus y square as x minus y into x plus y. Now this number will be divisible by 3 when x minus y is divisible by 3. Now it will be divisible by 3 if both the numbers they are either from s1 or both of them they are from s2 or both of them they are from s3. So this required probability will be simply now any 2 from this set will be given by nc2. Now for s2 also will be nc2 and for s3 also will be nc2. So there will be 3 into nc2 plus now this x plus y will be divisible by 3 if either both the numbers they are from this set s1 which we have already included or when one number is from s2 and the other number is from s3. Now in this case we have nc1 and nc1 in that case sum of remainders will be 3 so this number x plus y will be divisible by 3 so this required probability will be favorable divided by total now total number of ways of choosing 2 from these 3n numbers will be simply 3n c2 now this is 3 n n minus 1 by 2 plus n square and here will be 3n 3n minus 1 whole divided by 2. Now this is 3n square plus 2n square and there will be 5n square minus 3n upon 3n into 3n minus 1. So this required probability will be 5n minus 3 upon 3 into 3n minus 1 and that is the answer to this question. So that's your first part. Now the second part is two whole numbers x and y are randomly selected. Find the probability that x cube plus y cube is divisible by 8. Now what we can do is we can categorize all the whole numbers in 8 categories. Either numbers which are multiples of 8 or leaving the remainder 1, 8k plus 2, 8k plus 3, 8k plus 4. 8k plus 5, 8k plus 6 and 8k plus 7. Now if both x and y they are even then in that case x cube will be divisible by 8 and y cube is also divisible by 8. So if both of them they are even then in that case this number x cube plus y cube will be divisible by 8. So if we take all these cases when x and y they belong to either of these four then this sum it is divisible by 8. Now what if x and y they are odd. Now if we look at x cube plus y cube x cube plus y cube will be x plus y and then it will be x square plus y square minus xy. Now if both x and y they are odd then x plus y will be even x square will be odd, y square will be odd and x into y will also be odd. So this entire expression will be an odd number. So when x and y they are both odd then this x cube plus y cube it, it can only be divisible by 8 if x plus y is divisible by 8. Now it will be divisible by 8 when we have one of the numbers from 8k plus 1 and it's get added to 
eight k plus seven. So we have this one category where we have eight k plus one and eight k plus seven, or this other category when we have eight k plus three, and the other one should be eight k plus five. So these are the two possible cases. Now, if one of them is odd and the other is even, so this is odd and this is even, so it will be an odd number. So it cannot be divisible by eight. So we have two cases when both of them they are even, then in that case it will be divisible by eight. And if both of them they are odd, they must be either this form or this other form. Now we'll start writing this probability. Now this probability it will be equal to first case when both of them they are even. Now the first one is even. Then it can be four cases out of any eight cases, so it'll be simply one by two. Other one will also be one by two plus. Now this case, when one of them is eight k plus one, so this probability is one by eight into other one is eight k plus seven, which is one by eight into two because x and y they can be interchanged. And then the second case, which again is into two, so it'll be four by two. So this probability is simply a one by four plus one by sixteen, which is five by sixteen. So if two numbers are randomly selected, then the probability that some of their cubes is divisible by eight is five by sixteen, and that is the answer to this question.